Welcome to the uh, Nisha Jackson Show. How are you? Welcome. Uh, I'm Rusty. That's uh, Nisha Jackson. Hi. And uh, I was just at your uh, your shop. Clinic. You, you don't call it a shop. It's not a shop. No, it's just, it's yeah. a clinic. Although it kind of is. It's a body shop for bodies. Yeah, it is. Kind of, well, it is kind of a body shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And for your health. For your health. Yes. You, I like that. Now, it's different... It's different than when I lived here. I've been gone, though, for like five or six, no longer than that. So it's di- like, I don't remember. I remember you having some IVs and some shots, but not a lot. This t- Now it no, looks like you have a lot. We didn't have IVs when you were here. You didn't? No. Okay. And we only had one shot. Uh, I think we had two different shots okay. that we could give patients. Um, what... Why have you moved in that direction? Is there a reason why, or right. you just thought, "Hey, this could be good for business"? Well, I, it's both, but it's really important. So the the difference between taking a supplement and taking a shot um, and taking an IV or having an IV is that they actually in, they're introduced into your body in different ways. Obviously, okay. so um, an IV, the advantage of having a these are vitamin IVs, so they're nutrient IVs, and the advantage of that is that it goes into your vein, obviously, and you can put quite a bit of nutrients in one IV bag. And it also serves as a little bit of hydration. So I had heard uh, about supplements in the past, people that didn't think supplements were that good, Mm -hmm. saying that, look, you're just peeing it all out. Right. Is, is Is there something to that? And that's why IVs are better or they're wrong and it's still, they work good together. I always think it's so hilarious when I hear that from from people uh, because there have been thousands and thousands of studies done on fish oil, vitamin D, high dose vitamin C, Linus Pauling for Pete's sake. Mm -hmm. There's there's so much research out there to show why optimizing nutrient levels is important for your health. Um, We know all of the downsides of B deficiency rickets. We know the downside to vitamin D deficiency. We know the downside to calcium deficiency. So anyone that says something as silly as that, you got to just turn it so off. It does, you so, got to turn okay, it off. Okay, so you're saying that in in your life, your studies, your practice, you have seen supplements and you've taken them and you've prescribed them and you know they work. They work. Dang. They work. Okay. Yeah, they work, but there's different ways that you can take them. So here's, I'm going to talk about supplements just for a little while because there is some confusion about supplements. And I think this is where some of the, the talk behind the scenes goes on that, Cause, that's cause negative. I'm, I'm, I mean, take a look here. There's a ton of supplements in your office. Look at all these supplements. <laughs> look at all this stuff you have. Yeah. I mean, it's, imp- it's very impressive. Right. All these things. Thank you. It is impressive, <laughs> but I, I like supplements and we, I formulate a lot of my own supplements. Um, we have a separate supplement company called Bound Stocks. And why I think that it's important that we, sup- we, we formulate some of our own supplements is I know exactly what goes in them. I, we don't put any artificial fillers. We don't use artificial ingredients. Are um, there a lot of them out there that have yes. a lot of junk in them? I mean, you can go to, I won't name the brand because okay. I'll probably get like axed or something. You can go to a very popular retail store and buy a vitamin D that has formaldehyde as a filler. I'm not kidding. Why? Why would they put? Why? Why would you do that if you're trying to do don't health stuff? Me. Don't ask me. You, so I mean, there, you don't even know. There are artificial okay. ingredients um, and very harmful fillers that are in a lot of the supplements. And the problem with supplements, Rusty, is they're not regulated. So that's where some of the bad information is out on supplements because some of the supplements and probably maybe even the majority of them aren't good. Okay, now, there was a time where they wanted to regulate supplements more, and we thought that was bad, right? Or was that good? Well, the problem is, is that whenever regulation gets entered in, usually things just get messed up. Mm-hmm. So I think what's important, so if, you, if, you, if you're looking for a good supplement, besides all the ones at our office, if you're looking for a good supplement, I would suggest that you look for a GMP certified Good manufacturing practice is what it stands for, which right. means that it has to meet certain FDA regulations for compliancy. 
So every single pill in that bottle has to be exactly what it says that it is. So if you look at some of the research that's been done, the analytical research that's mm-hmm. been done on supplementation, the, the analytical research shows that even like um, they've done it like on just vitamin E. And they took five very popular brands of vitamin E that were not GMP certified. They were not, you know, part of that, what I just said, the good, good manufacturing practice. And they tested them, uh, analytically tested them, and they found out that they would range anywhere from 10% of what the label said to 600% of what the label said. Wow. Pill to pill. So you want a supplement that every single pill is what it says. Obviously, mm-hmm. if you're buying it, you want it to be what it says. Right. So that's why I started formulating supplements about 13 years ago is I wanted to, I wanted to know what was going to go in that supplement. When I gave it to my patients, I wanted to know what they were going to take. Okay. And I wanted it to work. And that's the other caveat with supplements is when you take supplements, you don't have any idea how much, how many milligrams that you need or international units that you need to achieve the effect that you read about. So if you read about like why coenzyme Q10 is so important for heart health or prostate health or whatever, because it's good for both those things and and breast health and energy. Uh Um, So anyway, when you read a research article or even just a a little article in a magazine and and you say, oh, I got to start taking coenzyme Q10. So you go and you just buy coenzyme Q10 wherever health food store. You don't know what you're getting. Just I'm buying coins on Q10 because I read it was good. But you don't have any idea how many milligrams of coenzyme Q10. Is it 100? Is it 50? Is it 200? You don't know. You're just buying whatever whatever label looks cool. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of ignorance about how much you need to have the therapeutic effect that was just that was just talked about in that research study. So um, that's the other reason I wanted to formulate supplements is I wanted to give the right amount of the ingredient or the botanical that actually would have the desired effect. And you're finding that those ones that you had made really do do the job that you would, yes. were hoping. Yes, because okay. we test people's blood and we find out this is where you were before you started and this is where you are now. And, and so, by the way, she's got her own lab. I mean, I went there. There's people drawing blood and they're doing mixing stuff up. And I mean, this is not some, uh, you know, uh, fly by night operation. You've been doing this a long time. You know yeah. what you're doing. I've always had my own laboratory because laboratory medicine is really important to me. I want it done right. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to be able to. I want to be able to get into the lab and say, "Run that again. It doesn't look right." You can't do that with big national labs. And I wanted the the, the least number of people to handle the laboratory specimens possible. If you go to a, a large commercial laboratory, that specimen might be handled by thirty different people before it actually gets to the main manufacturing, uh, not manufacturing, but the laboratory facility for processing. Wow. We have one. Okay. So it's 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 really important one or two, depending on what clinic it's coming from, but minimal. Um, I also like to do research. So having my own laboratory allows me to really look at data and look at research and before and after effects and how certain laboratory panels, when they change tests change, how does that interface with things like autoimmune disorder? Mm -hmm. So disorders. So um, I like having a lab, but now I'm getting off subject. No, okay, so let me ask you. So you did the supplements, you're able to test, you know that it works. So then why shots and why IVs? Why go to that next step? Instead of just swallowing a pill? Yeah. Yeah, or powder. I mean, because I can do it myself with the pill right. and the powder, right? So here's the deal. We're going to do a show on the gut, you know, the absorption in the gut. It's because so many people's guts are so unhealthy because they're eating sugar and garbage. And it's, and, it's, and it's reducing the amount of good bacteria in the gut. And when you don't have the right pH and the right bacteria and the right balance in the gut, you can't absorb the nutrients and you're spending all this money on really good food, where well, you should be, mm-hmm. and supplements and you're not absorbing them because you don't have the right flora in your gut to absorb. So we do see a lot of patients that have this problem. And you don't have to be overweight to have this problem. You can have a real unhealthy gut and you want, you're not absorbing. And this can lead to all sorts of medical issues, uh, chronic pain, um, skin problems. It can lead to confusion, forgetfulness, attention problems, depression, anxiety, insomnia, et cetera. So, so we want you to be able to absorb, but sometimes with patients, we have to start them on shots to get their nutrient levels up because the shots are awesome because what they do is they bypass the gut, they go right into the muscle, and you get 100% absorption right now. And so it works right now. Right now. And then so you do that to kind of 
uh, get me in the right range, yes. and then I can start taking more supplements. I get, I get you in the right range. I can get you in the right range. And then, and then we start working on your gut for optimizing your gut health so that then if you either, A, your levels are, are optimal and you're eating better and you're getting much many more nutrients from your food, then you might not need as, much, as many supplements. So our goal is to get people in the right zone so their body's doing it on their own. That, that's new, isn't it? Because I remember not that long ago, everything was supplements. Everything was even uh, the high-end stuff was we're going to make supplements just for you. Uh, but no one was talking much about IVs or shots. Right. It is, it is more recent for sure. Definitely the last five years, it's really gained a lot of popularity. It's also gained a lot of scrutiny too. And so I, I hope that the people don't get a little too crazy out there with the regulation of these IVs and shots because I think it's really important for people's health. I can move people's health much quicker with an IV or a shot. The advantage of an IV over a shot, I think the shots actually last longer because they're in the muscle rather than the vein. So it sits there longer for the, for the patient. But the advantage of an IV is that you can, you can load a lot of nutrients in one bag, in one IV bag, and, and you can bring many levels up at the same time. Where in a shot, you can only use like one to three cc's or milliliters. But in a bag, you could use 100 to 500 cc's. Wow. So it's, it's, it's a lot higher dose and multiple nutrients. And vitamins. if I was going to do the IV, how long does that take? Is that like an hour kind of deal? Um, our most popular IV is called the Myers Cocktail. And it's a, it's a really good, really good research has been done on it, especially in the area of fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, depression, autoimmune disorders. Um, so the Myers cocktail is just a 100 cc bag and it's about 30 to 45 minutes at the most from start to oh, finish. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Do we have initial cocktail? <laughs> yeah, we do actually. <laughs> no, it's not called initial, but. Why? Well, if, that, if, if that guy could have one, why can't you? <laughs> it sounds a little weird, like Nisha cocktail, like. That might not be a good idea to call it. Well, that. I mean, okay, the Jackson <laughs> jump, anyway, that doesn't work. We have right? other ones that take okay. up to two hours. So do you did, did you come up with some of these? Did you mix some of these yes. together like you did with the Yes. Okay. Yes. What's, yeah, and we've added things to it. You know, we'll the the thing that we really like to do is to do a glutathione push at the end. So we, we give the uh, IV. A lot. We give an IV and then we take something called glutathione, which is uh, the world's most um, powerful antioxidant, and we push it at the end. And it is excellent for your skin. It's excellent for your immune system. It's really good for your mood. I find it excellent for um, people's concentration and memory, but it's, it's really, really, really good to help people's immune system and to move their health, especially if they're sick hmm. or they get um, sick repeatedly. So we do a lot of those types of pushes um, and IVs during the winter time. Do I have to go to Peak Medical Clinic or can you ship those to me? Can you ship the shots or no? We're actually working on that concept. So way to be an opportunist there. That, that, that we're, we're actually working on that, but there's some, there's some legal issues that we have it to It would make through. me nervous. To, to, I mean, I've had to stick needles in myself for like testosterone and that hurt. I didn't know. How, yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Because I'm a, what's the word? Um, wussy. Um, you're, you're, I wasn't going to say. I'm sure you're no problem. Give me that. I can give myself a shot right back here in the butt. I, I can do it. I can, I can turn around and do it. I can't Just do like it. put it in. You're way tougher than I, me. It's, it feels way better because the, the glutus, the, the, butt, the butt muscle is mm -hmm. much bigger than the leg, you know, and it hurts in the leg. Yeah, I, I I remember doing it and not being able to walk for like I know, a few days. I know, because that's usually a tense up right before you get it. So anyway, that's the differences between okay. the supplements. But the supplements are really, really, really important. And you've and got a ton of them. I mean, we I saw, I, I'm trying to think that you had stress and you had mood and you had, I mean, it's a whole wall of stuff. Right. Um, what ones do you think, I mean, they, they all are different for each person, right? What, what we need? Well, our number one most popular supplement, it's combo supplement, number one. Um, I mean, there's a lot in the top five, but there, I mean, there's, there's, there's five supplements that we sell a lot of, but the, the most important supplement that we sell that, that everybody loves is called <clears throat> Stress AM and Stress PM. Okay. And that supplement, um, that combo supplement, it helps optimize your cortisol, which is your stress hormone during the day. So, and then, it, and then the nighttime stress PM blunts the cortisol at night. So your body is meant to have cortisol on a rhythm. 
So in the morning when you get up, your cortisol, which is, I guess you can kind of think of, think of it like energy. Cortisol is like energy, like adrenaline. So unfortunately, when people have tripped out on stress for too long or they've had, you know, very dramatic events in their life, traumatic events in their life, they end up getting to the point where they're underproducing cortisol and they don't feel well. They, they wake up in the morning, they don't feel rested, they hit the wall in the afternoon, they're trying to like OD on caffeine or sugar or something just to get them up. This is a huge problem today, right? You hear it all the time. They're exhausted during the day and then when they finally go to bed at night and lay down and try to rest, they're, they can't turn their brain off. Right. Or they go to sleep right away, but they wake up at two, three, four, and they're just like, oh my God, I can't sleep. So the, the stress AM and the stress PM helps correct the cortisol level so it stays optimal during the day up so that you have good, good memory, good focus, your ability to manage stress is much improved. And then, then it should slowly go down as the day goes on so that when you get to bed at night and you take the stress PM, it's a very um, safe supplement to use. It's actually, it's phosphorylated serine, so it's actually extracted from egg yolk. It's very safe to huh. use. And it blunts cortisol. So it, get, it keeps your cortisol down so you can turn your brain off and rest and go to sleep. It's not a sleeping pill. And you've had these supplements for a few years. So yes. you know that you've been, yes. you've tried them, people work, you know, we get We've sick. sold hundreds of thousands of these supplements yeah. and they work. Um, we've done a lot of internal testing on them and um, they're awesome. I take them myself every day. Um, it's, it's just really important to get that rhythm right and to restore it because the thing is, is that you don't want to feel exhausted during the day. Who wants to be exhausted during the day and, right. then, and then wired at night and then being even more exhausted the next day because you didn't sleep very well. Right. So sleep is important. It is another very important factor for determining longevity is sleep. And if your brain's moving and racing or you're waking up and you can't shut it down, you need to, you need to work on the cortisol, not a sleeping pill. So sleeping pills do not help cortisol. They only help the sleep brain chemicals. So, so a lot of people get confused that they think they need a sleeping pill, but they really just need to blunt cortisol. Okay. And you can do that very naturally, which I love. You've got a lot of other cool things. I mean, there's a reason that someone should come to your clinic. I mean, I walked in and first of all, it's very calm. It's very nice. It's very classy. It's not huge. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice place to go, but you've got like, the cocoon, yes. and you've got some other stuff. Like, what is the cocoon, and, and do, is it worth traveling to go and use the cocoon? Right. Well, you can get IVs and shots and the cocoon in most metropolitan areas. You know, really you can. So whoever listens to the show, you can probably just Google cocoon um, or, you know, I, uh, movie, but nutrient <laughs> IVs or shots. So you don't have to come to peak to get that stuff. I just saying go, it's, you should go there. I just oh, think it's, it's important. Nice. Okay. So, um, you know, here's the deal. The reason why we have all these things, because we do a fair amount of aesthetics. We do Botox and fillers and PRP and uh, platelets in the face, which we should talk about at some point. Um, here's the deal. Patients come in, they don't feel good. They're, like I said, they're, they're, they're suffering from either reoccurring illness. They're, um, they're not sleeping well at night. They're feeling depressed. Um, they're not themselves. Um, they cannot. They cannot handle stress the way they used to. Something is wrong. That people usually come to us because they're not well. Okay. And so once we balance everything out, we look at their hormones. We look at the entire endocrine system. We we optimize the gut. Um, we optimize the neural brain chemicals. Once all of those things are balanced and people feel like on their game again, like they got their life back. In fact, that's the number one thing that we hear in our office. I finally feel like I got my life back. Really? I love hearing that. <laughs> but seriously, of all the things I love, I love hearing that sentence. Mm -hmm. I got my life back because that's so cool. And um, but when they get their life back and they get their kind of their 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 mojo back, they start saying, you know what, I want to look better. Like I want to get rid of these wrinkles and I, I wanna like I wanna like lift my face back up or I wanna, you know, I I, I wanna start doing the cocoon and some body treatments or whatever. And I like having that stuff there because, um, again, I can kind of control it more if it's in my office and I know what they're getting. Not that you have no control I issues no, at all. I, I gave no. all that up. <laughs> um, I just have compliance and control now. Yeah. And so, 
so that's why we have it there because I think that there's really nice ways that you can improve the outside of you and help your external body uh, age well too. Real quickly, I, I've never, I just saw a little pamphlet for the cocoon yes. in, your, in your office and it looked interesting. What does that do? It's so cool. So when you lay in the cocoon, so all of the facials that we do in our office from our, our esthetician does facials, she does them in the cocoon. So the cocoon is a, um, it, it just looks like a big cocoon. I mean, it looks it, like I could take a nap in it, Yeah, which is, that's the thing I'm really liking about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could take a nap in it. A lot of people do. Yeah. So you lay in it and it's infrared heat, which is very good for detox, by the way. It's good for chronic pain. So it, it provides a very high temperature infrared heat. It provides massage. So it's massaging your body while it's heating your so it's body. So it's like a massage sauna. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And, and you can control the heat if you don't want that much heat. You can control it. Like how it. hot does it get? 110, 120. That's hot. Yeah. But it can get- it's Phoenix it, hot. We can get, it can get hotter than that too. Like we have a whole treatment program that you can put on like a space suit and get in there and spray this stuff on your body for detox and put the space suit on and get in and it gets much hotter than that. So you Why do you really, want to do that? Well, if you want to lose weight and okay. you want to detox- it's a, it's, a, it's a whole different program, but okay. I'm going to talk about the cocoon first. So yeah. it does infrared, it does massage, um, it has aromatherapy, it has oxygen that you can breathe in oxygen while you're in there. It has music. You can even, it even has a place that you could put your hands. I, I, we don't encourage this, but you can put your hands out through the cocoon and hold your iPhone or your, your phone and you can text. <laughs> it has earphones for music. It's so cool. It's, it's just a really, it's a nice little feature to have, you know, while you're getting a facial because most people just lay on a bed and get mm -hmm. a facial, but you get all this treatment when you come in. Okay. Nice. So that's, that makes people uh, feel good. I want to try that one sometime. Yeah. Hook, yeah. We hook a brother up. I'll hook you up. Okay, that's good. All <laughs> right. Um, the peak, your, your clinics are, are growing. They're all over the place. I see you got one. You want to, I see a sign here. I'm not going to read them all off, but all these places where you have, uh, where you're going to put these, these clinics right now, where are they? Mostly in Oregon. Uh, we're still expanding in Oregon. Uh, we'll be opening in Montana this summer late summer and uh, we're moving into Texas to uh, hopefully awesome. um, moving into Idaho after that. Can I ask you one other quick question sure. about Oregon? In this, in this area, I'm telling you every block is another marijuana place. <laughs> they are, am I wrong? They are everywhere. It's coffee shops and marijuana. And not only that, they grow it here. They grow a lot here. A, a, not, and not a little bit. We're talking a lot. Yes, it is a lot. To me, this doesn't look like a great trend. You know, um, maybe we could talk about that uh, sometime that in the show? future. Okay. That I actually have some really interesting thoughts on cannabis and THC and CBD, um, but maybe we could talk about that. We, that's not something we offer in our clinics, by the way, but, but I do have some interesting thoughts on it, on the medicinal benefits and some of the research that's out there. It's very fascinating. Okay. So I can't completely diss on it because there is some very interesting research happening right now. All right. I want to hear about that. I guess yeah. that's that may be our next show. Yeah. I want to thank you very much, Nisha Jackson. Uh, you find her, Nisha Jackson, uh, Nisha at NishaJackson.com or right. NishaJackson.com. Uh, any other websites you want to go to? Um, if you want to look at the, me the medical clinic, it's PeakMedicalClinic.com and it lists the different locations on the site and, and lots of information if you want to find about the services and yeah and you can also can you order the supplements yes, and stuff you can order all the supplements we don't charge shipping wow. and so but it describes the supplements and you can ask questions too if, if you're confused about any of them can you get the uh <laughs> the coaster probably not these are special collector's items <laughs> i'm so impressed that you brought those to me today i know i feel i feel so happy about that good i'm glad yeah it's really nice of you my pleasure all right she's nisha jackson check it out again nishajackson.com and uh, please do us a favor will you please tell people about this show it's great how much did you learn today a ton right uh it's a lot of fun it's in it and it's a great educational piece so uh tell your friends subscribe if you're listening on itunes or or, or send the link if you're watching it on YouTube or wherever you are. Tell your friends, subscribe. We're growing this show and uh, she needs to be heard and, and you know that. So thank you very much for checking us out. She's Nissa Jackson. I'm Rusty Emery. So we'll see you next time here on the uh, Nisha Jackson Show.